Now, one of the most, does this feel better to take it off? <laughs> This is what I want to, this is the big picture I want to bring you guys to, and we're, we're wrapping up. This is the big picture I want to call you guys to. You see these guys and you listen to them every day, but you guys don't even know me. Most of you don't know me, you know me as the bus driver. I went to a Christian school just like you guys did. I went to Madison Academy pretty much my whole life. I was raised in the church, I had godly parents, my parents got divorced when I was 15 years old. Do you know what I decided to do that? I decided that I would be a hearer only. Jacob, did you know that? You didn't know that about me, did you? I was a leader. I was just like these guys up here. But what I decided to do was to be a hearer only, and I decided to drink. I'd go to church, Sunday night, I'm 18, 78 year old, didn't have much direction, and I would go drink. And I would take people from church with me to drink, people from school to party. On the weekend, I was a hearer only. I went to church. Every Sunday, every Wednesday, but I played church. I played the Christian role. It's called playing church. Was it real? It was fake. I wore a mask. Still a good guy, but participated with the wrong people. I had sexually immoral thoughts. I taught nasty away from school, but I had it all figured out. You see? I did things. I hung around people that did drugs and didn't do drugs, but I hung around them. I was around them. I was a hearer only, was not a doer. And you know what it got me? It got me in a lot of trouble. It got me a future away from God for a very long time. And here's what happened. I went to college, and I messed around and crept around, and I never got my degree. I never did. Once you don't go to college out of high school, it's very difficult to go, to go further out. You know, if you, if you go four or five years without going, it's almost impossible, isn't it? It's almost impossible to get that finished. So it took me a long time, I was about 25 years old, to step back in that leadership role. Now some of you guys are going down that same road. I know it. I see it. There's a lot of immaturity involved in some of, some of the leaders that are standing up here. But I'm going to call you like these guys up here are calling you, and like God's calling you to step up and to be mature and to lead and to be a doer. Y'all have got more potential than any school, any school I've ever been a part of. You got guys over here that love you, that have temptations, that have struggles, but they are doers of the word. They are leading you down the right road. They're leading you down the right road. Don't be a hearer only, guys. James 1.22. Don't be a hearer only. Be a doer. You get you and you and you and you and you. You guys right here, y'all are the core of this senior high. And Jacob, I know, I know you a little bit. I know a few of the others. You guys need to leave. These guys are watching you. They're watching every move you make. But more importantly, God is in the presence of each one of you. You've got a great school. You've got great people around you. And I want to call you to the challenge to be a leader for God, to stand strong, to be a soldier, to be a warrior, and to do the right thing in the midst of temptation, in the midst of struggle. And you take each other with you. You have a problem, you got something going on, you get one of these guys to pray with you. Some of these other guys out here that you know. And you stop what you're doing out there on the ball field and somewhere else. And you stop and you pray. God's in your presence. You guys can lead. Y'all, it is an incredible walk to be with Jesus Christ and to do the right thing in the midst of trouble.